Hey everybody, welcome back. This is going to be our last video on this little mini game that we're building here. And as you remember, what we did so far is we have it set up that the ball moves when you tilt the phone. Then we set it up that we had our hole show up randomly anywhere on the screen. Then we set up collision detection where the phone's going to detect whether or not this ball collided with this one. And then we set it up so that when they did collide, the score went up by one. So in this one, what I'm going to teach you to do is how to add another level to it. So we can have two levels. How we're going to do this is we're going to use an if statement. I'm going to collapse this block, get it out of the way so we have some room for this uh, to open this one up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do control if and then I'm going to put else. Oops, I always do that. I don't know why. Else. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to pop this in here for now. Now I'm going to drag this move ball to the else. So what we're going to test for is we're going to test if the global variable is larger than a number. So with this math here, we want to do where's that? Pull this out and do greater than or equal to. I'm going to explain why we did that here in a minute. So let's go get global score. If it's greater than or equal to 11. Okay, so let me explain why we're doing this here. So what we're testing for is if the score is equal, is greater than or equal to 11. So 1 to 10 is level 1 and then anything over 10 would be starting level 2. So in order to do that we have to make sure that it's either equal to or greater than 11. Now if I just wanted it to do it at 11 and I put equals 11 well, what's going to happen is when I go to 12 it's going to set it back to the normal settings. But I don't want that. I just want it to be that this the hole moves faster any time it's 11 or higher. So that's why I did the greater than or equal to. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to moving hole clock. I'm going to set the timer interval to and we have it set at two seconds now. So I'm going to move it to a second and a half. So we'll do 1500. And then what that's going to do is that's going to make it so that when you're playing the game, you're going to have these balls collide with each other. When they finally do, you'll have score will be 10. As soon as that turns to 11, you're going to notice that this hole starts moving around just a little bit faster than it did. And you can continue to add to this if you want to do more if statements and you want to have it if it's greater than or equal to uh, 21, greater than or equal to 31. And you can continue to add to it and make the holes go faster. Maybe make the points, you know, if you go over here and collide it with, if you do an if statement um, and make how you would make the points be worth more, is you could add an if statement here and it would say if global score is. Um, I don't know, let's say is 11 or greater than or equal to 11. If global score is greater than or equal to 11, then the score would be global score plus 2 instead of 1. So we would do it similar to this. We would pop an if statement in. So we can go control if here. So if um, duplicate that. Go to math, just so I can show you here how it would be, greater than or equal to 11, then we'll duplicate this whole thing, and it'll be global score plus 2. So then what that would do is that would check that if the global score 
is greater than or equal to 11. And we're actually going to pop this up here because we wanted to test this before this. So we're actually going to also add this an, an else in here. I pop that right in there. So we're going to do if it's greater than or equal to 11, then it's plus 2, else just add 1. So that's going to make it so then if you want to do that, then you would have to, if you want to do a level 3, then you're going to have to pop another if statement in here and have a test if it's greater than where to go ah uh, where to go where to go here it is is greater than 21 then plus 3 else just do 1 so then pop that in right like that and what that's basically doing is it's it's constantly testing to see if it's at a different level and if it's not at one of these different levels then all it's going to do is just add the standard one so that's how you would do that and that's how you could do it so that you could set up for multiple levels okay so we're going to leave that at that I'm going to actually collapse this now because I'll leave it set up like that if I want to go in here and I want to add more um, more uh, levels later on but that's it for this game and uh, it's pretty advanced if you think about it because you're setting it up so that when you tilt the phone this moves that's advanced right there and then every time it collides you're adding the score and then you're actually added another level to it so that's the first game we're going to make we're going to make other games um, in this series here and we're going to do some things with uh, when you touch the screen and have things disappear and things like that so uh, this is our first game and I think it went pretty well I encourage you to play around with it, mess with the timers, mess with the sizing. Um, if you want to do this with sprites instead of balls, try that as well if you want to draw up something. And remember, this says screen one. You can change the title if you'd like, but we make that not be visible. So with that not even being visible, they're never going to see it, and you're never going to see it when you run the app. So, you know, if you want to change that, you want to make it visible, you can. I would encourage you not to just because it opens up more of the screen and it would look kind of weird having the title there while you have the phone if you're going to have the phone sideways. So um, remember to make sure that it's you set the orientation too to not just be uh, the default but you actually set it up to be portrait. If you set it up to landscape the math is going to be different and you're going to have to mess around with – I'll show you right here. You're going to have to mess around with this section here. You're going to have to do some different math for the heading. And it's going to just be a little bit of a pain. and It's really kind of hard to do with some of the math and everything. So I would encourage you to just keep it on portrait, turn it sideways, and you'll find that it works much better. All right? So stick around, and there's a lot more to come. I'll see you in the next video.